Hi, it's Christian here and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today I'll be tying this one. There we go. Aiden Kobe three uh, in green colors. And the reason for or the idea behind this one was because uh, I got this one. This Uring Soft Heckle Reviety Pack. And uh, I looked through all the feathers in here, there's lots of them. And I found this one. With some marabou uh, like feathers down here and some nice feather up here. So that ended up in this one, in this little one. So that's what I'm gonna tie now. So many nice feathers in this, this entire bag of feathers. So this one is the next from the Uring Soft Hack Variety Pack. Uh, other than the green feathers, uh, I'm gonna of course need a hook, the light stinger in size 6. And I'm gonna use some STF dubby, green colors, or olive colors at least, some green flesh, and some black power, power thread from Vivis. And this is also from Vivis, some mini flat braid also in a, a in an olive color, matching the, the feathers, some UV resin from Ritab and some bead eyes, ordinary black bead eyes. That's all you need for this little one. I'm gonna make it in green, but if you had the gray or brown, you could do that as well. Um, it's up to you, what you got in your variety pack. So um, let's get tying this little green bugger. Here we go. So this is the one we're tying. A little green fly, some sort. And the hook I put in my vise is the light stinger in size size six, and some black power thread I'm using. And I'm gonna start by taking some of this I found in my Ewing uh, soft hack variety pack. These fluffy little marabou-like feathers, and I'm gonna use those to make a, a tail. So I'm gonna. Grab a bunch of those and to make my little tail. tie all this fluffy shit in as well because it's gonna help add some volume to this little fly. I'm gonna grab some um, some flesh just a few, uh, a few straws of flesh here for the for the tail to make it even more like this. Tie that in on the side. Similar length as the as the marabou or whatever it's called. This is gonna form a very lively little lively little tail on this fly. At least that's the idea. And I'm gonna go backwards again. And get rid of this. <whistles> Goodbye with you. Then I'm gonna grab my Ewing feathers again and find a well, feather from down here. And I don't want a big one. So I found a smaller one here. I'm gonna get, get rid of all the fluffy shit. I don't want that. Then I got this. I'm gonna uh, take half of it, half of it away of the fibers, and it's pointing in towards me. I'm gonna take away the left side of the fibers here, and these are gonna be a palmer heckle. Ha! 
have a pommel handle even. So I'm just gonna find the tip of my half feather here and tie that in. Down here. For later use. I'm gonna all of this out of the way. And before going any further, I'm gonna take some chain bead eyes and tie in a chain bead up here, chain bead eye up here on in the front underneath the shank of the hook with some eights. This is where the this is where the power fit is really good because you can really put some tension on your thread here making sure the eyes don't go anywhere like this I'm gonna go backwards again all the way so I want to make it doable let me fly here and I'm gonna make it make sure it stays even more with some rate up UV resin too so just a little drop of that up here here we go this is easy then I'm gonna take some of this stuff some Vivis uh, flat braid mini flat braid in an olive color Add some green down here in the back. Tie that in all the way back and move forward about a centimeter or so. And then I'm gonna tie in the mini flat braid here in the back. This is where it's nice to have an even layer to, to move, it, move forward on here, about a centimeter or so, and then I'm just going to lock it in here. This would be a nice in a green, no, not a green, but a tan color as well. But in my variety pack, there was no, no um, tan colored feathers. But this green one is nice as well. Well, then I'm gonna take some more of my uh, Rage Tap UV resin here and just give it a, a layer here as well. On the mini flat braid, I just tied in. I'm just gonna put a layer of that on that. That has two purposes. One is uh, to make the that made more durable of course but also because I want to do this I'm gonna take my half a farmer haggle feather and just pull it forward here in in uh, an even layer here and just tie this in and then the idea was that the stem or ha the half of the stem at least of the thread is gonna um, stick to the UV resin and therefore making the palmer haggle even more durable like this This is really not very hard. This one. The other night I was tying with a friend, uh, Ken Corgo, and he has a fly that's called the KK fly. Uh, it had some of the same, same. Uh, it's a brown one, uh, tan one, with some one different materials, but some of the same uh, things. To be honest, which uh, I will try some other day. But 
it's a good inspiration maybe it's, yeah, some of the same maybe components component components was what I was trying to say as this one well I'm just gonna find one more feather here my one more hidden feather if I could just find one there's plenty so I'm gonna grab grab one more feather I'm gonna make, make a haggle here in front of the of the how my haggle I just did uh, and I'm gonna again just make it half I don't want too too much so like this and I am gonna tie that in at the tip Right here in front of where I ended my just a sec. I secure that. Just do a few left here of this. Get even more uh, like these feathers when they get wet, get wet, because they get a nice translucency to the fly. Get some lively, lifelike uh, uh, movement. That's what I was trying to say. Just gonna tie this in. I'm gonna. Go. Then I'm gonna make a very big topping loop because I'm gonna cover the bead eyes in some in some dubbing in a sec. And I'm gonna need a quite la quite long loop for that. Just a sec. And uh, for that, I'm going to use the STF dubbing in a similar color. And this one looks like it's olive. I'm going to grab a bunch of this olive stuff and just, it's too much, just uh, pull and lay on top, and pull and lay on top. So I get, uh, Get the, uh, the fibers aligned of this uh, very nice material. The fibers are quite long in this uh, material. And I'm going to grab another bunch. And do the same. Do the same. Do the same. It's up to you how much you how much you want. But when you've uh, got a bunch here. And it's, it's too long, so I'm gonna cut it in half. See, it's half the length. And then I'm just just gonna gonna make sure to spread it out as much as much as possible, like this, in an even layer, without fucking up the direction of the aligned fibers then I'm gonna put this in my in my dubbing loop like this and trying to make sure we got a thin but even layer of STF dubbing all the way and then gonna spin it 
Let's get more easier than this. Easier than this. And I'm gonna take my brush and just give it a good beating. This is where the the power thread is good. Because it's fairly it's really strong. This is a power thread. So we can take a beating with my fucking brush here to get all the fibers out. And I'm even gonna grab a dubbing needle to get even more of the materials here get them out as well so we get them all out and also that the thread with the dubbing is not going to be too thick not here it's not going to be a big big ball of dubbing so i want to get it out all those nice fibers like this, then it's all about uh, covering the the eyes, and I'm gonna go uh, two wraps here. That was one. That was one. One more. Then I'm gonna go double eight. the topping loop tied down and it looks a bit messy right now I know we'll sort that in a sec because we're not quite done yet then I'm gonna take my There we go. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of resin here on a here on a needle to make sure this doesn't go anywhere Put on the leaf as well I'm just gonna get rid of this shit these fibers are everywhere, but we will make them go the right way in just a second. And then save it, of course. Then I'm gonna brush the hell out of this. Um, but imagine the transparency you get on this. On this little fly, then it gets wet. And then I'm gonna comb it upwards like this. It looks crazy, but then I'm gonna with my fingers just measure the, the length so it's not more than the gap, and then t tear off this. And the same underneath tear off the longest fibers so we get a nice taper of the fly and then just get rid of the 
most point, pointy ones. But there you have a little no-name fly. I haven't come up with a name yet, but uh, yeah, it's an all-round pattern, to be honest. Uh, with a bit of trim, a bit more trimming, but uh, you get the picture. That was it for today. Uh, feel free to leave a comment and even subscribe for more uh, content. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.